Well, that's dude. And that's dude. And welcome, welcome to, to Lazy, Lazy Boys, Boys Night. Night. Oh yeah! I was waiting for it. I was like, is he gonna do it? Is he gonna do it? He did. Oh. oh. I should wait for this moment to go. Oh yeah. You should. It's a. It's a. Oh yeah. Mo this is an interesting looking can. Uh, we're, we're, Dude, yeah. Yes. It's right there. <laughs> you gotta um, see this. It looks painful. It's called Tongue Tied Double Dry Hopped IPA by Nickel Bo Brook Brewery. I'm sure to get to that point, it was uh. a lot of fun. <laughs> but then you realize, mm, yeah, was that really a good idea? Oh, only if you like the person you're kissing. I guess so. Yeah. Holy jeez. All right. So, uh, double dry hopped IPA. Mm -hmm. uh, so, hopefully it doesn't have that, that bitterness that sometimes the IPAs have. If it's double dry hopped, oh. I'm thinking, oh, that smells good. How about we oh. find out? You watch this. Oh. And once this is done, we'll drink this. Oh, yes. It's just two guys talking. There they go again, say anything. Talking about nothing. Nothing new to say, talking anyway. So much to review. So let's have a cold brew. A cold brew. Everybody's talking. It's not. Catchy tune. Uh, it, I, it's in like my Billboard top top ten. Oh yeah, I, I listen to it all the time too. And uh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> I just I enjoy the. All right. Okay, you ready for this? Oh, I love. That. Oh, not like I love that. This I, is so good. We we've uh, from time to time we talk about how we find certain IPAs are a little too on the the bitter hoppy yeah. side. This is fan freaking tastic! Mm. Oh my! You know what? I would I would twist my tongue like this if I could keep drinking this. Do you have sedimenty? Sedimenty. Let's have a look here. Sedimenty. I have sedimenty. I do. Yeah, there are ah. sediments at the bottom. So All right. just when you pour it, keep it just a little bit at the bottom of the can, and you won't have the sedimenty. Yeah, because I got the sedimenty here. I got the sedimenty, but it's well, awesome, awesome. awesome. They're not at the top. Super good. They're not at the top, so Remember, let them settle for me a few minutes. We had one. It was like almost like oh. it was snowing. It looked like a snow globe. It, it, there's so yeah. much. Hey, Sedimenti! What's going on in this glass? Oh, this is nice. Oh, Nickelbrook, fantastic job. Yeah, oh, great job. I'm enjoying this. Oh, you know what? I think it's going to become part of my rotation. It's easy, super easy to find the can too. I'm, I'm, I'm sure you are. We, we do this all the time. We have certain rotations of beers that, that stay in yeah. our regulars. Uh, I think this will be part of my regulars. So is that going to be a part of the uh, the Balls Falls collection? The Balls Falls is part of the collection, and this, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell oh, yeah! Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> We're spending too much time together. We're starting to say the same stuff. Mm. No, no, that's not too much time. No, it's just the right and appropriate amount. That's of time. right. Just the right amount of time. Right balance between family, work, and friends. Oh, can I just? Did you just fart? No, that was not a fart. <laughs> I don't even really care. Ah, no, I just feel good because I'm okay. just I'm chilling out right now. All right, it's been it's been a very very rough week. Rough week, yes. Demanding. So, so week. when is it not a rough week? That should be that should be in the crappy bowl of mystery. <laughs> ah, <laughs> when is it not a rough 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 week? <laughs> See, so, that's the kind of week I've been having. Is that what we're doing today? No, no, tonight, you know what we're doing? What? We're doing a dude diatribe. diatribe. I hope it's you because I have nothing uh, to rant about. Oh, it's mine. Okay. It's mine. So, what's so, on your mind, dude? I've been having a lot of conversations because we're now in, in the summer uh, time of year and uh, we, we're kind of laxing on 
a lot of the restrictions that we've been having for the last two years. So meeting up with a lot more people than we have been in a while. Yes. And a lot of a lot more conversations. Yes, that brings it up because we're not just sitting at home, you know, watching binge watching YouTube and uh, the other. Uh, no, I've <laughs> not been doing that. <laughs> I'm still kind of doing that, but anyways. <laughs> so, uh, by the way, you should check out this show that I'm watching now. On it's called Lazy Boys Night. Yes, oh, yeah, you seen it? Show. it's an awesome show. That's a love the whole awesome show. So you should check Especially it out. Especially dude, I love Lazy dude. Boy, dude is awesome. In dude that. is awesome. Check out dude. He's the best part of the show. So, that being said, I realized in a lot of these conversations I've been having and hearing, it's, it's actually a lot in the media in the last few years. There's something that is has been seen as being the the, the politically correct way of seeing. Uh, the planet we live on and how we deal with everything and i just want to come out loud and proud to say congratulations i freaking hate planet earth i freaking hate planet earth what planet earth is a jerk and we keep defending it all the time everybody wants to protect earth everybody thinks that we should be nice to earth Everybody is this whole mentality and I'm going earth is doing one thing people is trying to kill you Do you not realize earth is trying to kill you and you keep going trying to protect it not realizing how much planet earth hates you <laughs> Planet Earth, It hates you and it creates all these other things that hate you as well But you're not liked we're not liked Planet Earth wants to get rid of us. Wow, and pessimist yes, much? Seriously? <laughs> I hate Planet Earth. What, well, so, now what I'm doing is I'm setting, I'm actually at my vehicles, all of them, I have six vehicles, and I let them run all day. <laughs> and I purposely now go out of my way to buy styrofoam, whatever I can, and just litter my street with it. And I don't uh, even I don't even compost anymore. I just leave it in the driveway, and well, just let nature take it over because it doesn't take time for nature takes it over. Uh, so you got to stop being bullied. Everybody, it's like this big thing. It's this conspiracy theory where everybody's trying to be nice to the bully. The so, bully's trying to kill you, man. So stop being nice to it. You so, can do your own thing. It can it will destroy you regardless of what you do and how nice you are to it. It hates you. Dude has joined the Republican Party. <laughs> Could you imagine if I went off like that? Oh my god! I was like, what are you talking about? You oh hate planet Earth and don't, don't protect it? It's a jerk? No. Well, I was I'll like, what are you talking about? <laughs> oh! It's because I've been I... watching. Okay, when I was talking about like the binge watching and all that stuff, it's because I've been watching. I've been binge, yeah, binge watching, but I'm watching a lot. I really love history. Okay, I'm a big huge... history buff. History buff. Oh, I yeah. love history and I even love natural history even more. Like the formation of the planet. Okay. And, you know, the, the whole history of the universe and all these different things. And I was, one night, I was watching an episode of, uh, I can't remember the name of the show. I'm sorry. If, dude, if I, I remember, I'll let you know and you can post it. If not, you don't even know. But I'll, I'll try to figure out what. You like it? Is a title or a question <laughs> mark right now? Exactly. But the whole thing is, I was watching this. And it was talking about the history of the planet, yeah, and how how freaking harsh the planet is. Like the different the different times, the different time periods that we've gone through, like the ice ages and the great melts and the the, the global floods and you know the, 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 the big burp, <laughs> <laughs> global burps. But they were talking even like they were looking at uh, the the erosion that shows up in Egypt, going, okay, well this was underwater at yeah. some point. Yeah, and the erosion marks on the and snakes. They, they were showing all these different rivers that we look at today that are in ravines, but they're showing that it's water marks. At one point, the water level was at that high. And they're showing, like, when they're talking about, you know, uh, what was it just before when the. the uh, yeah, oh my God, uh, you remember this. When the planet was, all the, the, the continents were together. Pangea. Pangea. So they were going through the whole Pangea process, right? That where everything's turning around and coming back. And all I could think about is, and you're, we're protecting you? And I just, I started laughing. I was alone and going, you're a jerk. And I kept, and then I started thinking about the planet going, 
we're being so nice to you, but you keep in these horrible things. Like you keep like the the great like every every like several you know either thousands or millions of years. There's a complete wipe of whatever lives on the planet. Okay, we're starting over. Like the plan's going reboot, reboot. You know what? I can't stand these people anymore, or these beasts, or whatever. Hey, I'm done with you. Let's start this thing over again. What? And so, so I couldn't stop laughing. Going, going. You know what? Planet Earth is a jerk, man. He keeps. <laughs> It keeps trying to like get rid of everybody and just this whole it's, thing. It's, so that's why I said, you know what? This is going to be a perfect diet. <laughs> I want to talk to planet Earth. Stop being such a jerk, man. <laughs> it's it's funny you should say that. Um, none of the names stick to my mind right now because it's been a long time since I read this. And I'm a little fuzzy on the details of the theory. But um, have you ever read any of the novels by Dan Brown? The whole Yes. Yeah, so so of course yes. the most famous one being the Da Vinci Code and Angels and Demons, which I think was actually the better novel. Yeah, same um, here. I but really one of the last it. ones he had was called Origins. Did you read Origins? No, I have not. You should read Origins. I'm aware of this one. Um, because there's this guy who's like this this mega genius guy who postulates, and this is actually based on real life. And there's a real scientist who postulates this that. Um, it's kind of sad about the meaning of life, and I'm paraphrasing here because it's been a while since I read this, but basically the entire existence of the life on Earth is is simply to burn off excess energy. The point of the galaxy, the, the, of the universe, Big Bang, this energy is trying to burn itself off. And it's quicker to do it through life forms than non-life forms because we burn up the energy, we burn up the resources, we burn up this yeah. and this and that. And so the whole purpose of life is to burn out, it so to speak. I'm paraphrasing here. That's it's explained an entire it's, book. Based it's, on well, it. it's explained much more elegantly, and I'm, I'm missing sure. some nuances because the last time I read this book was like three, four years ago. Okay, but I'm, I'm thinking of that where basically it just. But even the, the meaning of life is just to basically burn itself out. So you better burn <laughs> out than to fade away. And so life is harsh for a reason. Life is our for a reason because it's just basically saying, all right, you get bored, burn out, die. Next, next, yeah. next. <laughs> so it's just, it's a really, it's a solid, non-stop universal party. Just Ugh. burn yourself <laughs> out, go down in flames and enjoy your time here. But but do you actually hate the planet Earth? I do. It's a jerk. What? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Because no, we're trying to get away from it anyways, right? The, everything is the, the billionaires whole, are the billionaires, billionaires are, are going out of their minds trying to spending billions trying to to, to understand we got to get away from Earth. Earth, at, as you know, if it, if we were in a relationship with Earth, it's very abusive. <laughs> Earth is a very abusive yeah, but that goes two ways because we abuse the planet a lot too. Yeah, yeah, but you know what? We treat the planet like crap. Not not as harsh as. Oh, you think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because Earth oh, was Earth was a dude, jerk way before we dude, showed up. Maybe, but still, we retaliated. We 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 retaliated like a nasty, nasty yeah, bitch. Yeah, I mean, we we got tired of it. There's we a garbage island that's bigger than the state of Texas. Yeah, see, and that's it. Earth is going to do something about it, man. It's, yeah, right, yeah. Well, we're going to pay for that. It's, it's escalating. So, you know, we got this little thing going on, this love and hate relationship. We want to love it, but... The just, opinions expressed by, by dude, dude, is by dude do not home. represent the, the, the uh, whatever disclaimer. I, uh, I personally, I, I like this you planet. You like this planet? Oh, well, it's the only planet Let's I've ever known. Let's get away from it. There's other in the sky. It's the only planet I've ever known. I don't think I'll get what? the chance. To, yes. You haven't been out more? I, have, I should oh, go out dude, more. you should go out I don't more. believe I'll get the chance to visit no. another planet. You know what? You're, and, uh, you you got to get away. Get your passport you again. Know, get off the planet for a bit. I, I'm trying not go, to live. Oh, in, go well, check out the dark side of the moon. That's an awesome place. There's an awesome gift shop there. Will, 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 I, will I meet Pink Floyd there? Oh, they they play Pink Floyd. Well, because they say see you on the dark side of the yeah, moon. Yeah, well, huh? they play it all the time. It's on the it Anyways, it's on um, I like this planet. It's the only one I've got, and I want to make sure that, you know. So you um, don't want to get away from it. No, I want to, it's it's like when you're forced to live in a bad neighborhood and you have no chance of moving out, you want to make your home as nice as possible. Okay, so we're living in the south side of Chicago right now. Is Ch south side Chicago the bad neighborhood? Yeah, it's a bad neighborhood. Okay. Check shameless. If there's any fans out there shameless, from south side Chicago, we feel for you. Yeah. 
And but the point is, I want to make the best of it while I'm here because I can't afford to move out. Uh -huh. I, I'm not a billionaire. I can't fly out to space. So I'm, I'm going to be pretty much living on Earth. Yeah. And and yeah, I know the aliens are all avoiding us, but I don't go there. No, man. no, no. <laughs> aliens. See, that's another one. Aliens don't even like Earth. No, <laughs> they don't go there. There are people there. It's a nice. It looks nice from afar, and then until you meet them, and you know, or it. But every know. now and then you got some nice things on Earth. It's like walking down your neighborhood and you're seeing a nice graffiti and you're like, ooh, that's beautiful. That's true. Graffiti's nice. You know? But that's not Earth. Or, Earth or, will take that down so Or you'll quick. see you'll see in your neighborhood, even though it's a crappy neighborhood, oh look, there's the park that was got done up nice and the kids are playing, they're having fun. And you're like, oh, that's nice. That's nice until Earth creates a big windstorm and drops trees on those same kids. That happened, what, three months ago? That happens. That's Earth. Earth is Earth. <laughs> see, I told you. So you gotta be watch out for Earth, you know. Look, pessimist. Watch, watch a bit. Le so less of a diatribe, more of a pessimist crap. No, it's a full on uh, diatribe. More of about a pessimist the crap on where we live. Oh, and it doesn't matter where you live because it's all the same freaking planet. Be open minded about how much of a jerk Earth is. You gotta think about, start thinking about all this stuff. Dude wants Earth. to move to Uranus. Yeah, Uranus <laughs> looks awesome from here. <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm coming for you. Yeah. Oh. 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 Maybe your sex tape. <laughs> oh, we haven't done that one in a long time. Oh, Maybe I haven't done that in a long time. That's yeah. another one. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> so, are you still happy you tuned in tonight? <laughs> I don't know that I am. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta you say, know, I gotta admit, there were a few moments Come where I, there were a few moments where I wanted to crawl out of my chair and be like, "This is just gonna be the dude show." No, you just. You gotta laugh about it because you have to look you at do. how much you do. How like everything that goes on in this planet is amazing, but so much of it, that amazement is destructive beyond belief, and yet we still manage to, you know, to keep on going on, right? And we're, it, there's amazing stuff for sure. But I just found it that moment when I was watching that, and I got that flash, <laughs> and I couldn't stop laughing. Going, planet Earth is a Jerk. Yeah, it just keeps but on going. But here, here's a here's a side theory. Planet Earth is not a jerk. It's just trying to survive, and the human race is a virus. It's a virus that's spreading and taking over and killing the planet, and the planet is See, just trying. That's when you to know. Fight that's off. when you know he's in an abusive relationship with the planet. He's trying to justify the planet's actions. By saying it's nice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, think about it. We're mm. parasites. We are. We live off the planet. We multiply like crazy. We destroy the environment. And the planet's just trying to survive. We're not viruses. We're a parasite is no. what we are. That's the planet's And fault. the planet's... You, you know, the other planets... The other planets are staying away. They're like, oh, stay back. It's got cooties. No, no, it's got humans. Yeah, that's true. And they even have a longer rotation so they don't get close yeah. to Earth. Yeah, and like the, the moon is freaking out. It's like, yeah. oh my God, they yeah. sent a few my way. It's like, oh. And Mars is like, I'm next. Oh. Yeah, and you, aliens won't even and, land. And then Pluto's like, I'm not a planet anymore. They're not going to come and see me. La, na, 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 na. See? So, that's what it is, folks. That's what it is. Enjoy. So, what was the point of this diet drive? Just to say that I had... I had that moment where you had a moment where you thought the planet was a jerk. Yeah, and I just want to share with all of you up there. All right, that I do get those. He moments. thinks Earth is a jerk. I yeah. think, eh, let's he get thinks we're parasites. So, yes. is, so is Earth a jerk, or are we parasites? You can chime in. Yes, you know what to comment. do. Comment, like, share, subscribe, comment, comment. Yes. Or do you have another theory? Oh, add another theory. So is planet Earth a jerk and just trying to kill us, or are we parasite? And planet Earth is just retaliating. So chime in. That's oh. really fun. That's a nice debate. There you go. So there you go. Cheers. We'll see you next time.